that was the day that I had my like awakening of like, whoa, I like boys. Cause they were doing the space cowboy dance and they were shaking the booties and I was like, Hey, I'm Megan Trainer, and I'm back to play round two of Song Association with Elle. I'll be given one word, and I'll have 10 seconds to rap or sing that word in a song. I'm not quick, man. I'm not quick on my toes, but I'm gonna give you 110% effort. So I think I'm gonna be great. But before we get in the game, taking it back, new album, I just did, check it out. Put my heart and soul in it. Please check it out, please, if you will, tell all your friends and your family, taking it back by Megan Trainer. Love you, Mwah. now let's play. <laughs> My voice dropped. Perfect. Heart. Ha. Uh, well, oh, here I go. Heart. Heart. Uh, uh, I got an icebox where my heart used to be. Icebox, Omarion. Oh, Nobody's gonna know that song. Dreams. Dreams. This is what dreams are made of. Best song ever, Hilary Duff. She's my friend now, so. My alias name at hotels is Liz McGuire, and my team is like, well, you have to change it now because you told everyone, but no, I don't. It's still Liz McGuire. Come find me. And I've had people come to the hotel rooms and they're like, is Hillary here? And I'm like, no, it's just me. And I have no idea who I am, so it's great. Am I one of the biggest Hillary Duff Liz McGuire fans? Yes, and I've told her to her face. She knows it. I have a backpack with like the Liz McGuire character on the bag. Life. Life, the circle of life, period. Crush, Lion King. Circle of Life by Elton John. Bass, <laughs> because you know what all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. Me, all about that bass. What was it like for me when that song took over the world? Um, it was a movie that went by really slow and then really fast. It was chaos. I didn't know what was happening at the time. I just kept getting told by everyone, this never happens. Like they were shaking me, like, pay attention, you know? And I was like, what? A lot of people told me like, this is a rocket ship and just buckle up and hold on tight. And that's what it felt like. We went to the moon. I was a songwriter. I was signed to write songs for other artists. I wasn't like signed as an artist at the time. So when I wrote it, we kind of laughed and we're like, well, no one's gonna sing this, you know? Like no one's out there. It's very specific, you know, and uh, it's that confidence and you have to add the booty, the thickness. And so um, nobody was really touching on that on the radio at the time. We sent it to everybody and I was told like, we're gonna send it to Adele's camp and Beyonce. And I was like, sweet. I don't know if it ever got to them, but I said that like once. And so every interview is like, so when Beyonce heard it and didn't cut it, I'm like, oh no, she has no idea that she was probably sent I don't even know if it made it to her label. So then someone was like, well, who's singing it? Just have her do it. And I was like, it's me. I win. Stars. Stars, you're a sky full of stars. Till I saw you. Woo -woo. Coldplay. What is it, baby? A sky full of a stars. A sky full of stars is what it is. Uh, my husband will never stop playing Coldplay in my house, and I love it. It's his favorite band. And then there's me. Was. Was is a tough one. Was. <laughs> was. Oh. <laughs> As it was. You know, it's not the same. Um, Harry Styles. As it was. Yes, Harry's on my management team. Yes, we are brother and sister. He is my best good friend. In a TikTok, I went bleh, and showed Harry Styles on the most tea I have. <sighs> Guys, come on. You think I, Megan Trainer, have tea on Harry Styles? No. No, I don't know much. He's just on my management team, so. I literally have nothing. I'm sorry, I love you, I'm sorry. <laughs> title. Could you imagine if I had another song with title? Like if I thought of a different artist? I can't. <laughs> uh, give me that title, title. Come and give me that title, title. <sighs> Such a good jam. Title by Megan Trainer. Watching you blow up on TikTok was truly the best morning of my life besides like having my son. It felt like my birthday party and I was like, what? They're all excited, they love me, they really do. It was that me, it was like, oh, they love me, they do love me, you know? And I owe TikTok and love TikTok, I love you all. Mwah, 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 mwah. Ball. Ball. 
ball. Babe, you're giving Moby Dick. I don't know what uh, this is. Oh, Miley, but it's not. Oh, I came in like a wrecking ball. Duh. He said this. Remember when you swing on the ball? I said, baby, you're giving like you rowing a boat. Crazy. You drive me crazy. Caca, I just can't see. Britney Spears, crazy. I even got the DVD on that crazy video, the music video, of like, learn how to dance just like Britney. And I crushed it in my living room. Time. Time. This time, baby, I'll be bulletproof. My team's like, whoa, yeah. Bulletproof. I loved that song. Was that high school? It was great. You're welcome. Meet. Nice to meet ya. Pew, pew, pew. Nice to meet ya. Me. Featuring huh. the queen, Nicki Minaj. What? I have a song with Nicki Minaj. And when she got her VMA award and she was like, thank you to everyone to let me feature on your songs. I was like, she's literally talking to me. <laughs> I was like, I'm a part of this. No, I worship her. She is the queen. I did not deserve her. So that was the best song ever. And now my whole team's like Megan Traina, because that's what she says in the beginning of the song. We talked actually on the music video set, we talked about how we both want babies. And then immediately after that, we got pregnant with boys. So we're the same. And she sent my boy a big teddy bear, and it's iconic, and I keep it in the closet, and I'm like, no one touch this bear, it's from Nicki Minaj. Bye. Yeah. Bye, bye, bye. That's the only one I know. Bye, 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 NSYNC. <laughs> Love them. When, that was my first concert, NSYNC, and it was loud and scary, because I didn't know girls could scream that loud. And I was just a young, young girl, but that was the day that I had my, like, awakening of like, whoa, I like boys, you know, because they were doing the space cowboy dance and they were shaking the booties and I was like, what is this feeling in my chest? And it was love. I'll never forget that moment. You. I'm like thinking John Legend. Oh, uh, so I'm gonna love you, me and John Legend. Like I wanna lose you. Uh, like I'm Gonna Lose You by Megan Trainor featuring John Legend. Working with John was legendary. It was iconic. It was great. He's a sweetheart and he's always calm, freakishly calm, where I was like, what's going on? Why are you so chill and relaxed? And he's just like, it is what it is. I've been doing this for a thousand years. You know, like he's perfect. The song that I wish I wrote and that I wish was mine is Jealous by Labyrinth. Go listen to that song and I dare you not to cry. The songwriting is out of this world. I'm jealous that you're happy without me. What? What? Labyrinth is a god and I hope he knows it by now. My dream is to work with Labyrinth. The end of the course. And I always thought you'd come back. Tell me all you found was heartbreak and misery. It's hard for me to say. I'm jealous of the way you're happy without me. What? What about all of that what? I always thought you'd go out there and like mess around and be like, Psh, you were the one, but you didn't. You were happy and now I'm broken. And that's how we feel about all of our exes. Best. Best. <laughs> I always think something will come if I do that. Best. The be best I ever had, best I ever had. Let's bring it back to my high school. Baby, you my everything. You all I ever wanted. We can do it real big. Drake, dare I say? It's Drake. Best I ever had. That one's hard. Bad. This love is bad for me. Let me do it again. <laughs> this, lo <laughs> this love is bad for me. My song, What Bad For Me. Check it out, it's everywhere, please. It's about my drama. The meaning behind the song, it's about how sometimes you have to choose yourself and your mental health first over loved ones, even if it's family members, which means taking a step back from that relationship, especially if all it's doing is hurting you. It's probably time to take a step back and it's very difficult to do, but I've noticed that I'm not alone. A lot of people go through this and I did go to my therapy, my therapy session and talk about it and we wrote a letter and I sent it to said person. I wrote a song about it the next day and it's bad for me. 
and a lot of people relate to it and it's I hope it's helping them get through their trauma like it was helping me. The song that made me fall in love with music had to be Like a Prayer by Madonna because like I'm a god. Have you heard it? Go right now. Like a Prayer was one of the first songs that showed me, oh, music is so much more than just a song. It's a memory that you're making forever. A core memory I have that I love is singing in the car with my mama, like singing loud to Madonna, Like a Prayer. Especially when the choir comes in. We were a part of that choir. We were in it. And I never knew what Madonna looked like, so I pictured like my mom with really long hair. I was like, that's Madonna. And I was like, Way off. Like it starts off epic. It's like, life is a mystery. And you're like, is this an epic ballad? Everyone must stand all alone. And you're like, wow, this is intense. And then, and it feels like home. And then the drums kick in. You're like, what, what, what? I'm about to dance? And then the choir comes in at the end, all major chords. We started minor and it was spooky. And now we're happy. We're in heaven, you might say. And it's like, just like a prayer. I'll take you there. Have you seen Miley sing it? Psh, just like a dream to me. And then it's a fun, funky party. And it's, at the end of the day, it's back to love. Ain't. Ain't. I ain't your mama. I ain't gonna be cooking all day. I ain't your mama. J-Lo. Ain't your mama. Written by mwah, me. Having a song that I wrote that J-Lo sings is Bucket List Dreams. And I watched her one day, like, just show me how she does all of her work herself. That, that, anything you see that's by JLo, she art directed it, created it, and is a genius, and taught me that I need to be way more involved with my stuff. Um, I texted her that song the day I shot my No music video, and she said her kids loved it, and that she knew she had to cut it, and I was like, oh my God, this is the best day ever. Look, <laughs> but I made you look, bum, 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 cause I'm about to make a scene. My song, Made You Look, by Megan Trainer. Me, mwah. And the music video, <laughs> fire, so good. I'm so hot, I've never been so hot. I was also laying in the burning sun during a heat wave. It was 108 degrees, I'm on a car. So please watch it, thank you. Minute. Minute. Wait a minute. I think I'll let my guns Wait a Minute by Willow Smith. That was like one of our love songs, me and my husband, when we were dating. Oh my God. I was like, you like cool music too? And he was like, I sure do. And I was like, you're my soulmate. And then we played this everywhere all the time. Taking. Taking a walk. Oh, taking. Got it. Taking it back. Oh my God, that's my song. Okay. Uh, taking it back. Taking it back, back, back to the days they made that good. Can we swear? We can't. Um, this is uh, my song, Taking It Back. And my whole album is called Taking It Back. What? This body of work is mature because I'm a mother now and I'm older. I'm 28 and I've had a C-section, so I've been through it. Um, and I talk about being a working mom, but I make it relatable. And um, my songwriting got better. Uh, I bring back the duop, the duop that everyone loves. <laughs> it's very similar. I call it like title 2.0. You know, it's like title all grown up. Back. Just guess who's back, 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 back again. Yeah, yeah. Shady's back, back, back. Tell a friend. Um, <laughs> my first true love, Eminem. <laughs> Megan, how old do I think I did? I think that I did fantastic. I think I crushed it. I did great. Very proud. Elle, thank you so much for having me. This is so much fun. I won. Thank you out there for watching. What? We had so much fun together. We're best friends. Uh, take it back. My new album out everywhere. All places right now. Run. Don't walk. Run. Get it. Okay? Tell your friends. I love you. Mwah.